Hey everybody, this is Sanj, and for those of you tuning in for the first time, welcome to The Real Fan Review. Make sure you check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Listen to all our episodes on your favorite podcasting app, and make sure to like us and subscribe on YouTube so you can keep up to date with all the new episodes. If there's a topic you would like us to talk about, just let us know. Our email address is therealfanreview at gmail.com. Real is spelled R-E-E-L. Enjoy the show. You're listening to The Real Fan Review with Hav, Sanj, Al, and B. What's going on, podcasters and YouTubers? This is Hav here, one of your hosts from The Real Fan Review. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about Marvel and bad boys. Bad boys, bad boys. Hey. What you gonna do? Nothing. What you gonna do when they come for you? Yes. <laughs> bad boys for life, man. We're going to get you guys ready for bad boy for life. Uh, but like I said, we're going to have this little quick discussion regarding some of the Marvel news from this week. And it seems like a lot of news was all Marvel, mm-hmm. except for one little bit. We have a, a trailer that we're going to talk about today. <laughs> but... um. Let's tell you who's here today. We got myself, Hav, and we got my brother, B. Hey, hey, hey. We got our man in the chair, Al. What's going on, everybody? And we got no signs today, man. Oh. And one of the news is, is straight for signs. <laughs> we'll talk about it, man. So let's, let's before we get into the bad boys, we'll, we'll do the Marvel stuff first to get it out of the way because it's pretty much just news and trailers and stuff like that. So as far as news goes... Uh, I saw there's a rumor going on around in YouTube and also on, you know, most of the movie sites is that Hulk and Neymar are allegedly, quote unquote, back at Marvel. Interesting. And what's your guys' thoughts on that, man? I feel like Hulk's time has passed. So I don't really know yeah. if that one's really relevant for me. You know, kind of the whole end game and saying that, oh, you know, these stones are emitting gamma radiation. I was I was made for this. Right. Kind of seemed like, oh, this is what you were supposed to do, Hulk. Should have died. Like, yeah. <laughs> I feel like that was like the end of his story in a sense. So like I don't think anything's gonna happen with that. I mean it'd be cool to see the Hulk in a future iteration of Avengers or a Marvel story. Right. Um I think his time has passed. Now Namor that I'm interested of. Of course, the you first know, mutant. Yeah, the you know the big talk <laughs> about the the I know there was a big concept thing with Black Panther two being like what was it, like the rise of the kings or whatever or the two kings the two kings right and yeah. Namor being the other one so I think that'd be a really awesome concept. Will it happen? Probably not. But I think having the ability to have Namor just because he was teased uh-huh. back when we had uh, what was it Thor I, the first one when no, they had the map. I, I think it was Iron Man one. Oh really? When they showed the map in the back, I thought that was Thor. When uh, they had Colt, was it when Thor was trying to get the hammer? I forget where that was. Yeah, For I some reason, it was that I thought scene. it was one of the um, Infinity movies. Wasn't no, it? no, because I thought. It, so here's here's the, the from what I recall uh-huh. about Namor being mentioned in the Marvel. Uh-huh. In Iron Man, when they were trying to recruit him for Shield, there was a computer with little dots on a oh, map yeah, with the maps. Yeah. yeah, and the map had Wakanda on it. Yeah. And, and it had some little places everywhere, and there was it had a one place in the water. In the water. Yeah. So that was allegedly hinting at Namor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the second hint that Al's talking about is in um, is in Endgame. Mm-hmm. And it's it's really subtle because I don't think people would realize it if they didn't. And and it may not, maybe we're jumping to conclusions yeah. on it. Also, was when Nakoye or no, sorry, Nakoye Okoye. Yeah. yeah, she mentioned that there was a earthquake. Yeah. Oh yeah, and, and um, Black Widow says, "What are we gonna do about it?" And she goes, "What you do about all the earthquakes? <laughs> you ignore it." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. But the fact that they brought that up, yeah. and then there's also the you know. Captain America saying that he saw a, a, a series of whales in the Hudson. Yeah. So they're thinking that there's something at play with the ocean. Why do they keep mentioning like the ocean? And when you say "quote unquote" keep mentioning, it was twice. Like yeah. <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot for Marvel. It's on purpose. <laughs> they don't mention water that much. So. <laughs> so I mean, that's the thing. I mean, for me too, man. I, I think for Hulk, I don't think I want to see a standalone Hulk because the the two standalones that I've ever seen were the ones with. Uh, with Eric Bana was Eric the first Banner. one. Yeah. With the Ang Lee version, which wasn't <laughs> good at all. <laughs> the one with um oh, he's a fantastic actor. Edward Norton. Edward mm-hmm. Norton. That was, was okay. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't it. mad at it, but it was a little It was eh. confusing what it wanted to be. Right. So mm-hmm. I, I pretty <laughs> much watched it for strictly the action, right? Yeah. yeah. But it didn't do that great either in the theaters as well. I mean, at that time Marvel was just starting to blow up because it was Iron Man, then Incredible Hulk, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. 
So with Hulk now seeing him being used as just pretty much part of the ensemble, I'm kind of used to that now. So mm-hmm. I can see him still being someone that they go to for information, or maybe he shows up to fight someone, and it'll be a cool thing. But having his own movie, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't. I don't yeah, think I really want to see that. And as far as Namor goes, you said it, man. The 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 tale of two kings, or you know, the two kings, yeah. <laughs> Wakanda versus you know. Um, Atlantis. Atlantis, that'd be uh-huh. uh, that's insane, man. So I, I would love to see Namor back at Marvel and then do something with him. Am I correct in saying that Namor had wings on his feet? Yeah, yeah, he definitely <laughs> did. Yeah. I was like, well, well, he had wings on his feet. All right, yeah, it's first mutant, that's man. What about fit. you, Al? What's, what's your take on uh, Hulk and, and um, Namor? I'm definitely interested in seeing about Namor only because he's a character I don't know much about. So yeah. it'd be interesting to see them give his whole story. Um, have there be a character that I can learn about through the movies, right? Something as different, oppo- as opposed to nitpicking every little change that they made because I've already kn- I already know the 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 character's whole backstory and so forth. The Hulk, I don't know what they can do with him because originally I was thinking, oh, they can talk about when he left after um was it avengers when he disappeared he took the 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 ship and disappeared oh that was uh yeah that was the at the sim- end of uh, uh, uh shoot age of ultron yes yeah, I, can't, I can't believe that yeah. came off of me so when, age of apocalypse yeah, sorry yeah. so <laughs> when he disappeared and then you see him come back again for um infinity war but they they threw that off by bringing him in to be the sidekick in Ragnarok because now you know where he ended up. Right. So you could have had a whole movie about him learning to be at balance with Right. They had the, the chance Hulk. at Planet Hulk. Yeah. yeah. They didn't want to share that money. Yeah. They didn't think it was going to work. <laughs> but now what would be your climax when now he just becomes a, a fighter at this yeah. at this world? Like, and, and Am I correct in saying that his right arm is done? Oh yeah, it, it was like pretty burnt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because even Thanos' his arm was was done after he d- after did he the snap. D- yeah, two snaps. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. So a little fun fun quiz, real quick. Uh, I- I'll see if either of you know this. Who was first, Aquaman or Namor? I believe it was Namor. Al. I don't know because they rip each other off so much. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'd probably say Namor and then Aquaman followed. Yeah. Namor was first at 1939. He came out, and Aquaman came out uh, 1941, two years oh, wow. later. I kind of feel like I knew that. <laughs> That's crazy, right? Yeah, man. So, I mean, like, like we said, I, I, I think we're all saying the same thing, which is we're looking forward to Namor just to see something different, something yeah. new, have the Marvel way of doing Aquaman, because I, I, I did like Aquaman in the DC, the movie that came out, yeah. but mm-hmm. it wasn't that great to me personally, yeah. mm-hmm. but I did enjoy Aquaman. So seeing what Marvel could do underwater would be awesome. And again, I, that's another part of the world. <laughs> Namor versus uh, the Wakanda Prince. <laughs> Black the Black movie. Planta. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would love to see that. <laughs> yeah, man. And then uh, in other news, man, and this is where where, where Sanj would have would have probably gone in because he's one of Sanj's favorite actors. Christian Bale is thinking about taking a role in Thor for uh, Love and Thunder, which is weird. <laughs> it's just kind of weird, <laughs> right? Batman. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I feel like Christian Bale is on the more. I don't even want to say serious because he did that. What was it, American Hustle, where his role wasn't entirely serious. No, but, but even the way he played it was awesome. Was he like awesome it. and like yeah, he was in it. So like, yeah. even Batman was on the serious side of things. So like, I can't see him doing a movie where he's not gonna be so serious. Yeah, right. Man. Like it's weird. And what do you what do you guys think? Like hero, villain? I, I personally, th- I'm seeing the kind of the same thing they did with Hella, mm-hmm. which is just a, a one time villain kind of thing. Yeah. See, I don't think they're signing him up for like three, four movies. Or I anything feel like, like that. they're not even signing him up to be a hero or a villain. I feel like he's just gonna be like in it as a person, and you'd be like, oh shit, Christian Bale. Like I don't know. I no, you I don't can't know. have Christian Bale in the movie and just nah, be like yeah. some see, like, little character. That's, that's the whole thing. Like I feel like Christian Bale wouldn't sign up to do something like this to uh-huh. be. Like, in the Marvel movie itself, I feel like he would just be there to be in it for, like, a hot sec. I don't know. I, I feel uh, like it's weird. I don't think they would make a big deal out of it if it was. Because if he was in it, like, a hot second, it would they be kind of like... A, like a, like um, Kevin Hart and Ryan Reynolds in the movie. But you know how yeah, it was sure. these days? Like, you know, like, if they can keep something as tight-lipped as that... Right. You know, and it got out, like, all right, well, you know, we know he's going to be in it now. So, 
I feel like I don't know. Like I feel like he's just gonna be. He may be like a, a character name, but I don't know if they're gonna stick to him. Right. Just because like it's not his scene. I'm putting all my money on him being a one-time villain. Yeah. <laughs> I can't see yeah. his his um. Not that he comes off as too um, egotistical, but given the way he blew up in uh, Terminator Salvation, All right. I can't see him playing a bit role and then being happy with it. He'd have to have, I agree with you, he's not going to be a repeating character, Yeah, but he's going to have meat in the story. It's not, oh, hi, hi, Thor, here's your hammer back. And yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, I feel like his I feel like the tone of what the Thor movies seem like they're going to be a little jokey don't match what he does. I so think that's but, why, I think that's the reason why yeah. he takes it, you know, to kind of step out of what he's normally doing, which is these, these like high caliber performances. Yeah. And you know, listen, man, I, anytime you can get a good actor to be in these movies, man, we'll take it. Yeah. yeah. I, I wouldn't mind a sarcastic Christian Bale. I wouldn't. Yeah. I'll take that. And, <laughs> you, and you see more and more of these high end actors are coming into yeah. these Marvel movies. As as much criticism as they get from like the Scorseses and so forth, more and more actors are putting their names to say, "I want to play a character." That's I, a yeah. paycheck. Make a character <laughs> that's for a me. Paycheck. Is it, isn't like Salma <laughs> Hayek in in Eternals? In Eternals yeah. Yeah, you got um, what's the name? She need a paycheck. <laughs> uh, Brad Pitt's ex. Why am I drawing a blank on her name? She did. Jennifer Laura Croft. Aniston? No, she played Laura oh, Croft. Um, why am I drawing a blank? Oh, oh Angelina name. Jolie. There you go. She's in there. Oh, that's right. She's yeah. in it too. Yeah. yeah. So you oh, got some paycheck. big names. Yeah. She got kids in college. She need a paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You brought the guy from Jon Snow in to to play Black Knight. Guys, I'm know. gonna say it again. <laughs> Camille Nanjani. He's in it also in Eternals. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, they gave some names. All right. There, there was rumor Keanu Reeves they were going to give yeah. him a character. They really want Keanu Reeves to do something. He horrible. needs to be the Silver Surfer. <laughs> 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 Why? <laughs> Why? Because, dude. <laughs> dude, like, Galactus, like, relax. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> Yeah. He did the Bill and Ted Keanu Reeves. <laughs> <laughs> Love everyone. <laughs> but he'd have some, he'd, they'd have to give him a reason so he can go, whoa. I know, right? <laughs> he just sees all the like all like the superheroes. In, like a little pan. Whoa. He's whoa. <laughs> <laughs> since well, since we're joking about Keanu having to do his things, right? What are the chances? What do you think? would be the chance that that uh christian bell does some kind of batman reference in the marvel movie if, if it, could, the voice. it could be something if they have him say, if he plays a character that doesn't wear a mask like this and, and they try to give him a mask and he makes a, a oh, joke he, about i don't wear a mask who hides behind a mask <laughs> or throws it behind him like luke's uh, lightsaber i don't wear hockey pads i don't wear hockey pads <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we're in hockey pants. <laughs> that was so funny. Looks at Thor, Harvey Dent. Can we trust him? <laughs> <laughs> Harvey Dent. Can we trust him? <laughs> Harvey looks at somebody and says, What's wrong with your voice? Just talk normal. <laughs> You're going to get hoarse like Rachel. that. Rachel. <laughs> he says, Rachel. You need a glass of water or something? What's wrong? <laughs> or someone's talking to him. They go back to him and he disappears. <laughs> 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 oh man oh that's hilarious man <laughs> all right we're writing thor that's it that's it writers. we're writing we're writing love and thunder that's it <laughs> oh man so then in the, uh, the last piece of as as far as news goes uh was we'll end on the bad news for marvel it's not really bad news because it's still early but uh scott derrickson who did doctor strange part one which was pretty successful you mm -hmm. know i i enjoyed my time there watching that movie um he's out as doctor strange 2 multiverse of madness he says he had creative differences with marvel's you know idea for what, what they wanted in doctor strange 2 uh you know me i do my little research there i, I try to read and watch videos on, on what people are thinking and saying and a lot of things that people keep coming up with is the fact that he wanted to make a horror movie mm -hmm. and i don't think marvel wanted to go too deep into the horror part of it they still want to keep it pg-13 mm -hmm. yeah you know family friendly mm -hmm. but um I don't know. I feel like with these things, since it's so early, look what happened with Ant Man and Peyton Reed. You know, yeah. they, he did his thing. You know, and and I feel like Kevin Feige has these these movies basically like streamlined. I feel like Kevin Feige 
literally has written everything and just wants everyone to do it his way. And like when someone says like, well, I have this idea, he goes, no, 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 no. I have it done. Like this is the way. This is the way. <laughs> I have spoken. Like you know, like, <laughs> like you know. I, so I feel like Kevin Feige, like he he has everything on the docket already planned. And like if you don't have like the the inkling to try and be on that plan, he's like, seems like we're having creative differences. <laughs> he's telling the other person the other we're one. having creative differences. <laughs> I think it's time that we decide that you step down. Yeah. <laughs> but but it's a shame because I would have liked to have seen a more Hell Disney. Um risky in terms of the horror Me too. version of the movie. I mean they say they're still gonna have elements of it, but I think Scott Derrickson, that's where his background is. I yeah. think he would have really brought yeah. you know, the horror into this movie, mm-hmm. into the franchise. It's true. It would have been different. Um, but, I mean, I can see where the parallel is. Like, if you're trying to make a horror Marvel movie, where's the line in this still being a superhero movie and it being a horror movie? You know, what, gotcha. are, we, are we going for frights because we have this multiverse like you have scenes of being scary like i can see that working no matter what i mean there's elements in other movies with that happening right um but if we're so like looking for this to be visually a horror-based movie then i can see why marvel would say that's not kind of like how we do things i don't know i Um, i I, I mean look at how you knew uh, sorry new mutants was branded um, you know, to start was you know was this is the horror mo- uh, movie, right. and then we got this new trailer, and um, it's like not so on the scary side anymore. Well, I, I don't know. I think they went back to the horror part on on the mutants, but we'll we'll talk about that in a second. Mm-hmm. Just to kind of finish off Doctor Strange too, I I just don't really see a horror look when I'm thinking Scarlet Witch multiverse yeah. i could see where they're going yeah like what they could use i mean multiverse you have all these different elements that you can tap into which is cool but my my one concern mm. is with disney's release schedule now they're bumping up things you know like scarlet which is wandavision yeah. um that got moved up in timeline and this movie was supposed to be the what this show leads into so I'm now concerned with how much. I mean, I, I now I sound like a millennial. Like, oh, how much longer do I need to wait? You know, kind of thing. like, you know, like, oh God, this was supposed to happen right away. You know, so like, you know, how how much is that going to delay this movie? Now that we have the director who's out, and now this show is moved forward. Yeah. So we'll see. I hear you, man. I don't know. I, I'm I'm looking forward to the the is it the Wandavision? It's going to be coming out before yeah. it. So to kind of see where the direction that they're trying to head into this movie. But I never really thought horror. When they said they were going to make this a horror movie, I was just like, we'll see. I I trust them Mm because look what they did already. So it's Marvel. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't know, multiverse, Scarlet Witch bugging out. I don't really... Well, I mean that one scene in Doctor Strange where they had like the hand thing. The hands coming out of the eye. Yeah, that was creepy. That was a little uncomfortable. So I could see them doing (laughs) things along that line. Traversing through the multiverse, which could mm-hmm. seem as horror based. Gotcha. Um, but that's really it. Yeah. How, listen, how how much would you guys pay to sit five minutes with the manual that allegedly Kevin Feige has of his plans for the next five six years, <laughs> or would you rather just wait for it? Yeah, I'd, I'd rather wait. Rather just wait yeah, and yeah. be surprised. Oh god. Although I'm getting <laughs> scared, I'm getting scared. The more time passes, right? Because now I'm wondering. Why are they slowing down so much? Why did they give get to give themselves such a big gap? Like, why would you give up so much momentum? Mm-hmm. I think that was a stupid call. I think honestly, yeah. what they were trying to do is kind of like end game ended this three chapter verse or not three phase three phases. Yeah. Now we're on to something new and give you time to breathe and get ready for completely something new from here on out. I'll need to breathe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> give me the movies. Just keep giving them. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, you know, you, you mentioned New Mutants. Yeah. So I wanted to talk about two trailers today. We'll start off with New Mutants because it's part of the Marvel thing. <clears throat> and um, so New Mutants, after being held back for, I think it's about two years now. Two years, man. I remember seeing the first trailer and I was like, <laughs> oh, this is crazy. <laughs> And then um, I heard they wanted to make it more towards like comic booky, mm-hmm. and that's what what made it go back into like this little hell of not coming out and being released or pushed back or whatever. 
And then now that Marvel got its hands on it, Kevin Feige and everybody, they actually said they wanted to go back to this horror aspect, which is why I think they kind of did this thing with Doctor Strange too. They don't need to make it a horror movie because they have this movie coming in that's going to be yeah. horror. So I think they're that's why they kind of changed the thing with with uh, Scott Derrickson there. But this new mutants trailer, I mean, what do you guys think, Al? I I liked it for for not again a, another situation where I don't have that much history with these characters. Yeah, it was interesting to take because it seems more horror, more of a graphic nature in the movie because mm. a lot of the scenes were very dark, like sh- very shadowy. So it'd be interesting to see where how they're setting up this aspect of the universe and so forth, um, and where they even fit in with everything because mm-hmm. this movie is three years four years old yeah yeah to the point where some of the characters don't even some of the actors don't even look, look like the that. same yeah. yeah is it Maisie williams in it yeah yeah, yeah. so it, if they have to do a reshoot if they have to fix something how do you do it now and they said they weren't doing reshoots like the when the the uh actors brought it up when there, someone brought it up in interviews and they were like yeah i i actually have no idea like we we <laughs> thought there was going to be reshoots and no one's called us yeah. and yeah. we don't know can you imagine de-aging them three years just because you waited so long to release the movie <laughs> so crazy man <laughs> you gotta yeah. take out an investment <laughs> why we gotta get that de-aging shit like <laughs> why what happened we grew up. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh, my God, man. I mean, from my knowledge, New Mutants, weren't they the ones who turned into X-Force? I thought so. Right? In the comic I thought books, some of them went to the X-Men and some of them became X-Force. Right? Because Cannonball, I think Cannonball is in this movie. Yeah. And he was an yeah. X-Force member that came from New Mutants. Yeah. I don't know. I, I really don't know a, a lot about these. I, I heard there's a big character that a lot of people like named Magic. I have no clue about this character. I don't remember mm-hmm. reading about her. Couldn't tell you anything. Yeah, so <laughs> Magic's in there. Somebody called Wolfsbane. Yeah. I've heard Wolfsbane. Yeah, so, and then uh, f- from what I'm reading is the main bad or the big bad is some kind of huge bear. <laughs> <laughs> Terrifying. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going to roll with it. <laughs> if Kevin Feige says release it, we're watching it. So <laughs> it's, uh, a, it's a weird one. What do you think of the trailer, B? I mean, I like the trailer. It's it's different from what we saw. I mean, added on from mm-hmm. what we saw the first time th- almost three years ago now. Um, I think it's interesting take. I just I'm confused about where it fits you know like are, did we are we going with this movie to say that we have mutants now you know and there's just somewhere oh you think it's you think it's connected to the mcu well i mean if marvel's taking the name and saying hey this is a marvel you know marvel production here see I, i'm not sure because in the in the trailer if you notice the beginning of the trailer they have the fox logo but it also put the marvel logo in there right so it's I, i'm confused if like we are releasing this movie because we made it, you know, and we think there's potential just to make some money. Yeah. You know, or does this fit within what we're trying to do? And we're just, you know, we've, we found a way to make it fit somehow. Like yeah. whether Kevin Feige found like watch the movie and said, you know what, if we put these couple words here, like mentioning the Avengers or something, like it all just kind of fits now. Right. So like, I don't know where they're kind of going with this just because it's so late in the game for this right. movie. We're talking a lot of years now, you know, this was supposed to come out way before Captain Marvel did. Oh so, yeah, definitely. Um, I'm interested to see the movie. I think we're gonna enjoy it regardless. Um, just because it looked really cool and the story seems really interesting. I'm just confused about why they went ahead. When I, I believe I, I read that the screen testing went terrible. Yeah, that's what I heard too. But so, I, I'm not sure if that's the screen screen testing of the horror movie they were trying to make mm-hmm. or the screen testing of the comic book movie they were trying but to. But I make. thought they didn't do any reshoots. Isn't I think they cut it or edited it differently. Oh, one of those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. But uh, apparently Feige saw the movie and was just like, no, nah, man, I, I want to release it just like this. Just like, is that and an go back, box? Like... Go, go back to the <laughs> horror aspect of it, you know? Mm-hmm. So, you know, we'll see, man. We'll see okay. how. We got a couple uh, a couple months, actually, because it's coming mm-hmm. out in April. Okay. Yeah. So. Because it was supposed to come out three Aprils ago? Like... Three Aprils ago, right? <laughs> or two Wait, Aprils when, ago. <clears throat> when does... um. WandaVision come out? That come out that was supposed to come out twenty twenty one. Yeah. But they moved it up to twenty twenty. So I think it's gonna come out probably December thirty first, twenty twenty. No, no, when is um the Doctor Strange movie? Doctor Strange. Uh, I'm not sure about that one. Doctor Strange. 
two. Let's see. We all got our computers here. Yeah. We're going to give it a look-see. Let's see who gets it first. <laughs> I didn't even try. May 7th, 2021. Hmm. Now, I was just wondering, because everybody's... I was the, My train of thought was wondering if the reason why they're releasing this and with the dark tone that it has, if you combine it with the whole multiverse aspect of Doctor Strange 2... And WandaVision, is this how they're going to try to bring in mutants into the MCU? Well, there's, I mean, there's rumors there's going to be a lot of characters in this multiverse of madness that we're going to see. A lot yeah. of, yeah. like, famous Doctor Strange villains or or people that were involved as Doctor Strange characters in the comic book. But we're also going to see some things that we're not expecting to see as well as, as they go through these multiverses. Yeah, mm-hmm. They said even so, bringing back some characters. Yeah, that p- apparently been, Loki yeah, the, is one of them. And then someone else who, who's died before in the Marvel movie. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. They said they're trying to like bring people back, but like maybe not from this universe, like from another one, like just passing through or something like that. Man, Coulson. So, Right, <laughs> bring them back. <laughs> oh man! And then uh, the last trailer there that we we uh, saw this week was uh, Birds of Prey from DC. Birds of Prey. Mm. So and the what, the anti- and the emancipation of one fabulous Harley Quinn. Right? Is that it? something like something that. Like something like obnoxious title? Just, yeah, it's just Birds of Prey. <laughs> like, cut it out. <laughs> cut the shit. Cut it out. All right, let's stop being cute. It's Birds of Prey. <laughs> I don't know. It's funny because, like, I watched the trailer. I can't tell you anything about the trailer right now. <laughs> I don't remember much besides seeing her blow up the Acme Chemical building. Now, now, does that mean she kills Joker? Like, is that that's how a they break up? No, I think they just said that they broke up. She says, like, that's, I think the beginning of part of it is she's saying she broke up with the Joker and yeah. she's on her own. So then, yeah, because when they blew up the Acme, the plant. I thought that was like a hint that she took the van and drove them into it. And drove them in and, that's how, and killed them. And maybe that's how they can shut up the Jared Leto as a Joker. Now, there's okay, there's no Jared Leto Joker anymore. Oh, I thought she was just blowing up the place where they first like kind of like became Harley Quinn and Joker. Or the his his originating I don't thing, know. That, you know. I just hope that's a retcon. <laughs> <laughs> you know, another thing that I recall seeing there was uh, Ewan McGregor put on the black mask. Yeah. Because you know, he's playing black mask. So I wonder if it's going to either be singed it to his face or if he's just going to be wearing a le- legitly black mask. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a twist. <laughs> twist turn there. <laughs> but, uh, I, I mean, from the trailers, what I saw, I mean, I was like, all right, you know, I'm going to go see it. But yeah. it's, I'm not... Not like, oh, we got to like, see this. Even like yeah, the yeah. intro to the Birds of Prey themselves, I was like, that was a little lackluster. Like, yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> it was like, oh, you're the Huntress. You killed a friend like of the Black Mask. Oh, well, okay. Well, okay. And then this person, you like. You're fighting crime against. You're trying to put them in jail. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm like, all right. Well, I see where they're going with. I'm not so surly entertained yet, yeah. but we'll see yeah. where it goes. I mean, you and McGregor. As a villain, I think is a really interesting avenue, and I would really want to see that. I really want to see him play this. Just to see yeah. him be an asshole, and then like next year, <laughs> see him as Obi Wan Kenobi again. So, like. yeah. <laughs> but the whole movie just looks like they're all trying too hard, which is sad because they're all great actors. You right. T- you take them out of this movie, they have a book of, of of movies and credits to really support being good actors. Right. And this movie makes them look like up and coming actors that are really just trying to get their name known. And no, and they're all known actors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, uh, I I like the way that uh, that she plays uh, Harley Quinn. Um, oh, I can't remember her name right now. Who's the actress that's playing Harley Quinn? Oh, oh um, um, dang. I know, right? Is when you put someone on the spot, you can't think of it. If we didn't <laughs> no. talk about it, we would we would know it all by heart. But <laughs> Margot Robbie, there Margot, Margot of Robbie. course, Margot Robbie. Yeah. I mean, I think the way she plays Harley Quinn is fantastic. It's, yeah. It definitely sells it to me that she is Harley Quinn. But, you know, some of the other aspects of the of the trailer, I just, like I said, I barely remember it. The things that stand out to me are, like like I said, Ewan McGregor, the hyena laughing and being named Bruce. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, so it's, just, it's the fact that, you know, they kind of listed it Bruce. Because from what I've also heard is that they're trying to say that this is not part of the, the uh, universe that the DC movies are coming in, but kind of. Yeah, I don't, I don't get that. Like, we were once here, so yeah, remember but, us? No, but not only does it make sense, because they showed Batman in Suicide Squad. 
Yeah, so but mean... they're trying to say that Suicide Squad, Suicide Squad, <laughs> Suicide Squad didn't <laughs> happen, um, and that this new Suicide Squad isn't necessarily a remake and it's not necessarily a sequel. What in the hell's going on out there? I mean, they don't know what's going on out there. <laughs> <laughs> the only part of the preview that stood out for me was her drop kick. Cause that really looks like she hit the guy like that. Yeah, and I was like, wow, that's a drop. Kick. You got paid to get hit. <laughs> wait, wait. But did you guys notice that she got like all like her superpower because she sniffed coke? <laughs> yeah. The powder was flying because they were shooting. And the powder was flying, <laughs> so she sniffed and she went ballistic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, cocaine is a hell of a drug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck your couch. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> so yeah, man. That's that's far as the news and the trailers from this week. So let's get down to what we're here to do. We're here to recap, get you guys ready for Bad Boys for Life, which is coming out this Thursday. And um, just really quick before we get into the recap, are you guys like really looking forward to this movie, oh. or are you guys kind of falling for this whole like January movies kind of suck? <laughs> I think, uh, to be honest, I mean, it's interesting that it's coming out in January. Right. You, you would you think it's a summer blockbuster. Summer, right. You know, yeah. especially because it's Bad Boys, and I think they always came out in the summer as a summer blockbuster. Right. Plus, as that action too. movie for the summer. Um, I'm I'm actually really interested. I mean, they came out when I was a lot younger, so I was yeah. like a kid when they came out. Um, so I, it, I had to do a little bit rewatching a while ago. Um, but, like, the, when the trailer came out, like, even the trailer... I think we, we we even said this a couple weeks ago, how we saw the trailer come out at the same time as another movie's trailer, and we yeah. were more impr- Star, oh, Wars. Star Wars, and we were, I was like blown away by the Bad Boys trailer, and I'm like, yeah. this is not fair, like, Star Wars should be blowing me away right now. Um, I'm a little, you know, it's funny, it's like, I, I had to remember my whole Bad Boys order, because for some reason, I thought there was a Bad Boys 3, and I was like, oh, this is Bad Boys for life like okay oh, you, get it like you it was a play on words that, that fast and furious you know that's fast five no <laughs> so i was like oh bad boys for life and you're like this is number four like nah nah this is three like what but <laughs> bad boys through life like that don't work <laughs> so uh, i'm pretty hyped all right uh, yeah no i'm looking forward to it too and just in preparation for this episode i rewatched. i didn't i was hoping to be able to get to have time to watch both one right. and two but i only got to see bad boys one um <clears throat> and I completely forgot Michael Bay directed it. Yeah, it wasn't until watching the movie and he was in it too, seeing the <laughs> the, the, the <laughs> camera. He was in goes, part two, yeah. I think it was. Yeah. yeah, and then especially in the scene where they're doing the chase and you see the two of them fall off the car and then they stand up and they do that pan around them, the slow motion pan. Uh, they, all they're doing is looking up. That's what I'm saying. I was like, <laughs> like why is with the slow motion like, on that? Because it's dramatic. cool, Javier. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember saying to myself, I'm like. This looks like somebody's copying Michael Bay. And then I look up the credits. And I'm like, oh, that, no, that's Michael yeah. Bay. Yeah. So it made sense. But just the, the lines, the interaction between the two of them was just hysterical. Um, and it reminded I mean, it took me back, though, because, you know, you hearing them talk about paging each other. I'm uh-huh. like, when did this movie come out? And then, <laughs> 95. I'm like, damn. Oh, it made God. me feel my age. But, um, Damn, dude! Like I, 1995, I was in the 11th or, or 12th grade in high school God, for this God, movie, yeah. man. It's crazy, yeah. and I don't. It, it, and it's funny because I started watching the movie, and I'm like, eh, it still, it still plays well. It's a little mm-hmm. corny, but in certain yeah. parts that are more corny than I remembered. Yeah, but there was still some funny parts too, though, man. <laughs> yeah. And what's the name? The 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 one that played the Julie, the girl that they were protecting. I did not, re- at first I kept watching, I'm like, she looks familiar, she looks familiar, she looks familiar. I just realized she is in that show, I don't know how many of you are watching, I don't watch it, but I just see the commercials every time. Madam Secret. wow. Oh my God, man. <laughs> so you know what, let's get into it, man. Let's let's talk about Bad Boys 1 and get people ready for this uh, Bad Boys for Life here. So, Brandy, did you see? get a chance to see Bad Boys 1? Yeah, yeah, I've seen Bad Boys 1. All right, so now this movie came out in 1995. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> when I was watching the movie, I was like, holy shit. And then, you know, the way that it starts off, you know, it's like pretty like, it felt like 1980s, 1990s action kind of thing with this, you know, drug heist from within the, the was it within the headquarters? Yeah, it was within the police department. It was oh, in I mean, like, that's the second they, one. Where they were no, I'm holding kidding. The- <laughs> <laughs> they both go that way. <laughs> 
<laughs> you got some uh, corrupt ass headquarters. <laughs> yeah, man. And what what is it? The, I think his ex cops were the ones that were part of the. There was an ex cop that yeah. knew where everything was, and where he was part of the the, yeah. the, the plan yeah. there. But uh, we get introduced to Mike Lowry. <laughs> How many times did they say Mike Lowry's name in this movie? And in and, and I, I don't know how you to see Bad Boys too, but his name, the full name, is said. Gotta be dude over a hundred times. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even because they, it is a part of the movie where they switch roles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, I can't be no Mike Lowry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you Mike Lowry? <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> so overdone, man. But it's funny, man, because like even like last week when me and Sandra were talking about it, we said Mike Lowry. <laughs> and it's just because of the way that Martin Lawrence says I was gonna say, it. I miss yeah. Martin Lawrence, dude, for real, <laughs> I man. Miss Martin I, I, dude, so I, I, you know, that's part of the reason why I'm looking forward to seeing Bad Boys for Life is kind of seeing him again yeah. and his do his shtick. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because even the trailer was just like, he's like, Mike, I'm old, <laughs> <laughs> I can't be doing this shit no more. Like, <laughs> dude, if you think about it though, the first movie comes out in 1995, mm-hmm. the next movie comes out 2003. 2003. Now we're going to 2020. <laughs> I'm old as shit, Mike. Jesus. <laughs> they should have been retired already. Like, like, Why are they still working? Like, yeah. like you have to re- remember too, like even like 1995, like he was doing Martin. Like he was relevant. Like he, he was, was huge. He was huge. He was huge. It made sense for him to be there, especially Will Smith had you know the Fresh Prince. So like the two uh-huh. of them were on top of the world. Yeah. From 1995. Did you know that the reason that uh, Will Smith got the job on Bad Boys was because of Martin Lawrence? I believe it. Right? Because <laughs> think about like those two people right now. You'd be like, oh, Will Smith got him the job, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, oh man. man. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Martin Lawrence got Will Smith the role? Will, yeah. yeah Martin, was, Lawrence. Martin Lawrence was huge. Yeah. <laughs> it's so crazy, wow. man. Wow. But uh, the tides have turned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. But, um, you know, they say Mike Lawrence named so many damn times. I, was, I could never remember Martin's Martin's character. It was Marcus. Yeah. Marcus. Marcus, Marcus Burnett. <laughs> and I never knew it. No one goes, Marcus Burnett. <laughs> Mike Lawrence. That's it. And, and it's like the whole movie was basically just like like reminding you. Mike Lowry is fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> he runs with no shirt on. Yeah. He also he just shoots. He shoots everything. Everything. <laughs> he didn't even aim. He just shooting. But somehow he got a lot of ammo until that one scene where he didn't have ammo. But he always got ammo. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, man. So let's get to the nitty gritty on this one, man. So basically the movie goes, it's this big drug heist that happens in the beginning where they take the, I guess it's the kilos of cocaine. Yeah. yeah. So over it. <laughs> 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 they take the kills of cocaine, and the, the the mission is to find this cocaine before the DEA or the FBI comes in because they want to solve this case so they don't take over for the Miami PD. Yeah. Who is the captain? The captain looks so familiar, and I can't remember. Or, or... he's that guy who's in like every cop movie ever. <laughs> <laughs> he's always a cop. Well, apparently he was in one and two, and he's gonna. And I think I saw him in the trailers for for the fourth. Thank one, God. For the, I can see that I did the same thing you did. Right? Fourth, it's the third. <laughs> you can't come up with dumbass titles like that. Bad Boys expect... Four Life and <laughs> right? Think It's Three. Right. This is. 2000 I was going to say this is 2020 now you got titles that are numerical <laughs> Joe Pantoliano Yeah sounds right All right there you go Is he, Cy- he, is he I was just going to say he's he cypher. cypher in Matrix That's he, what Oh my god I he's can't the guy that sells him out <laughs> Cypher He just wasn't wearing glasses that scene <laughs> He's eating steak without glasses on Oh my god It's a good ass steak too So <laughs> with, with this with this heist here I, it, I think it's Will Smith has like connections all over the place And it's funny because then we see like 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 Now we see these characters We're like oh that's the guy from uh, What was the HBO uh, With Gandolfini What was that HBO show The Mafia show Oh like, um Jesus, oh my God, Jesus. Sopranos. Yeah. I, and I'm like, JoJo, that's the guy from the Sopranos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, man. JoJo don't know nothing. <laughs> nope, no. I just know these tires. I just know the tires. JoJo gonna know what, what's going on with rubber. <laughs> <laughs> and it was funny, man. So he's basically looking for intel or some kind of help to get the next like lead on this coke case. Mm-hmm. And he, I think he has this friend that, that that's either a model or works as a... Um, like a ho- uh, escort. Escort. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with escort. 
dog. <laughs> That almost slipped. <laughs> yeah, she's an escort there. Yeah. <laughs> so, and uh, this the girl's name is Max, and she's freaking beautiful. Um, and what ends up happening is she tries to help out Mike Lowry, <laughs> and she ends up getting killed, you know. And then while she's in this like scene where she's getting killed. She happened to bring a friend with her who this character's name is Julie, who Al says is now in this secret madam role. Tay Leone. She is uh, on the top floor. She's like, they. I guess they, the people didn't see her going upstairs. Yeah. She was up there, so she witnessed the murder mm-hmm. and everything. So she leaves and she looks for Mike Lowry. Mm-hmm. That's how we get the Martin Lawrence becoming Mike Lowry, <laughs> pretending to be Mike Lowry, not knowing where anything is or how to act like Mike Lowry. Oh, yeah. it's, it's that, that was one of the most, like, where you got to say, okay, it's a movie. Yeah. Because she's she's heard this guy as being, like, the ultra smooth guy. <laughs> he trips she's, in his own apartment. She's had to have heard how tall he was. There had to have been some description of him. And here <laughs> He can't walk in his own house. He's like, I, I redecorate so often. I don't even know where the light switches are. What? <laughs> oh, man. Wait, my, my favorite is with him eating the bologna sandwich. And she's like, you know, it's just like flesh, right? You know, oh, oh, you know. Okay, no, you know, I'm not going to eat this. You want some of this? <laughs> it's been so nasty. Like, just, <laughs> right in her face. Ain't nothing smooth about that, Martin, man. <laughs> and who eats a sandwich overhanded? <laughs> oh, man. So they're, they're sitting here trying to solve this case. Mike Lowry's on a mission, you know, because it's, you know, he feels at fault for Max's death. And they basically find, I believe it's, um, there was a hit on what is it called when the police officers go through the computer looking for the the person when they're like they're coming up most wanted people they're um, i can't even yeah. remember the wording for that shit <laughs> <laughs> i ain't no cop i don't know that shit <laughs> but anyway they're going through the the they're scrolling through criminals yeah and she finds where the criminal is he finds the one guy that she remembers that did uh that was part of the killing there and they find out that he's at some club hell <laughs> No, Club Hell was part two. No, but there was a club. I don't know what the name yeah, of it was. Yeah, there was a different was club. A club. <laughs> yeah. so it's 2000, guys. There's always clubs. And it was just like so weird. Like <laughs> You see the people like over, overdoing it with the dancing yeah. and the club scene and no, everything. No, but not only that. They're walking through a club full of people. And just by looking out the window, the bad guys were able to say, oh, there, look, there they go. Those are the two and cops. there goes the other guy, yeah. And there goes the girl right there. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hawkeye. <laughs> oh, man. Too funny, man. But, like, I'm, I'm trying to think, like, from the first one, anything that really stood out that's going to, like, pertain to, to Bad Boys for Life. You know, I, I know in the first one they had been friends – since high school, I guess you could say, yeah. or friends since school. They knew each other so growing up. Lo- but it was real weird because there's times where you their interaction made it seem like they were only friends as they became officers, right? Yeah. yeah. But then they they knew each other since high school or from before. They're friends. They're bad boys for life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because the line threw me. At first, yeah, I thought they only knew each other once they became partners. But then when Martin thought that Will Smith, uh, Mike Lowry was sleeping with the wife, he comes over and he goes, bro, I've been your partner for six years. I've been your boy for life. Right, exactly. <laughs> I was like, yeah. oh, I thought they only knew each other since they got on the job. Yeah. yeah so uh, I don't know. Dude, that interaction, <laughs> when he calls, <laughs> he calls the, the house to check on his wife or to talk to his wife, and she picks up the phone, or I think Will Smith picks up the phone, and he's they're talking about put it in, put the get the yeah. But he's talking about putting the picture back into the photo book, and she's like, "Come on, Mike, put it back in." And he's like, "What?" <laughs> oh my god. It's so funny, man. Yeah, man. But it was a lot of little funny scenes, man. I mean, yeah. did anything in that movie stand out to you from part one? Or was it just like just seeing like an old good movie? It was just see like a good time. Like, you know, you have the car chases, you have the explosions, you have the guns, and you have the comedy. So, like, it, 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 I feel like it was really reminiscent of what the time was in terms of like action movies. It was always right. comedic. You know, it had some elements that were really awesome. And then, like, we had this good time in the, in the, in the kind of 
in the same sense of it. So I think like watching it again was kind of like, oh, you know, like that's awesome. cool. Like, yeah, that's yeah. awesome. <laughs> How about you, Al? Man, anything from part one that like stood out for you, or, or anything that you particularly liked about it? Just the the um the the back and forth of the two of them, like the chemistry was awesome. Yeah, like the macho. The, the one upsmanship, the, the back and forth, the busting of chop, you know, like not yeah. letting each other have it, but, you know, like you would with someone, like to your point, that you knew your whole life, your boy. Right. You know, you're going to fuck with them. Uh, you're going to make jokes. You're going to say shit there. Insult <laughs> them, make fun of them because you know they know you're not for real. You know it's not right. serious. Like, the you know, Mike Lowry making fun of his driving. Like, you know, all the way up until the end, he goes, that's how you're supposed to drink. Like, yeah. you, know, you just almost died and you're still fucking with him. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like that's what I, I miss. That's what I'm looking forward to in this new movie, the back and forth, especially with them having grown as men and as actors and as entertainers to see where now they can put the, their performance. It, yeah. It'll be interesting. Absolutely, man. Yeah, I mean, coming from, from myself, man, the, the first one, it was just – seeing good chemistry between the two actors yeah. the the back and forth banner is, is is insane you know like just the jokes even though they're a little old school they're still funny yeah and again their interaction throughout the entire movie it just felt like they were just gonna either divorce each other <laughs> fight each other <laughs> or kill each other at some point it just never felt like they were really good friends but they were you know <laughs> it's just hilarious man and I think it towards the end of the movie you know they ended up saving Julie uh, which is the character that that was they, the, the the bad guys were after, mm -hmm. and um, I can't really remember anything special that really happened in the movie that made it anything to keep going or looking at, besides maybe the the hotel guy. Yeah, I don't know he if he'll, was, he'll probably show up in Bad Boys for Life. Maybe it was Chet? I think it was. Yeah, Chet. Yeah, <laughs> he was funny. Yeah. You know, I thought those the two Spanish cops that were Ruiz and uh, yeah, they're in two too, right? No, they weren't in two. Really? Unless they look different. I mean. Because I, 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 I saw one on uh, Thursday night and two on f yesterday, and that in the two characters, there were two Spanish mm -hmm. cops that were with, with them in part two that were not the same as in part one. Mm -hmm. So they definitely looked different. Yeah, Maybe they detectives. had the same names. But, yeah, mm -hmm. Detective Sanchez and Ruiz. Yeah. Ruiz, yeah, man. They were funny. Even them playing with the with the guys, that too, was really hilarious. Um, so then we go to Bad Boys 2, which came out 2003. In Bad Boys 2, we get more Mike Lowry. <laughs> but we meet Sydney, who is played by Gabrielle Union. Bay. Bay. <laughs> so Gabrielle Union's in the movie playing uh, Martin Lawrence's uh, sister, yeah. who is also a, a cop. But I think she works with the DEA. Yeah. And uh, she's on this big heist there. She's playing a, uh, I guess, a money launderer. Money launderer. Mm -hmm. And... Um, you know, I, I gotta say, in Bad Boys Two, it, well, first of all, it was a damn longer movie. Oh yeah, Jesus, that movie was long, Bad Boys Two. <laughs> but it had a lot of good action. Like it I remember that that yeah. car chase scene <laughs> where they're going after. I think it was the Haitian uh, crew that was going after her to get that van. Mm -hmm. That whole chase scene was like a good twenty minutes. It was pretty cool, man, mm -hmm. and it was pretty disgusting. And and, that, and that's one thing I wanted to see about you guys. If you if you did see Part Two, if you remember Part Two. There's a lot of gross things that happen in that movie, man. <laughs> I don't actually remember that, <laughs> dude. First of all, there was dead bodies in oh, yeah. in in a like a morgue truck. Hey, wait, wait. That were that was flying out of the car and they were running it over and oh. heads were coming off. Okay, oh, hey, but talking about the dead bodies, do you remember the? I saw a clip of of two, but uh -huh. it was like on TNT, so they had to blur the stuff out. Yeah, but you remember the body that that uh, Martin Lawrence goes under the blanket with <laughs> the bim uh, quote unquote bimbo <laughs> with the big you know yeah. implant breast and just it, that was hysterical because he's sitting there just staring at <laughs> wait but before he goes into there right uh Mar uh, not Martin Lawrence um Mike Lowry first he he opens the, the they're both looking at the bodies to get like to find what was where's the money and where the drugs are at mm -hmm. and he opens the thing <laughs> and at this point, Marcus was like, Mike. He's like, What? He goes, Mike, can you concentrate on what we're doing? He's like, What? I'm I'm concentrating on what he's like, he goes, You're looking at boobies right now. You know, like <laughs> it's just so funny, man. Oh, man. But that movie it was a little gross because when they were looking for the drugs, they showed them going into the dead bodies yeah. and taking mm -hmm. like I think one one of them took a stomach out. Blech. 
Then they were looking for that they found the drugs. And I was like, oh, my God, they're really going into the dead bodies, man. <laughs> and then there was a scene where they were chasing the dead bodies and they were throwing the dead bodies out on the street. Mm-hmm. They showed, they had a close-up on the people's face of the dead bodies. And I'm like, this is it looked too real, Summer. man. <laughs> Summer blockbuster, guys. Summer blockbuster. Oh, 2003. But, you know, the main difference in, in Bad Boys 1 before Bad Boys 2 is, uh, you know, we went from coke to ecstasy. <laughs> <laughs> Huge. You know, the, the freaking little rave or, or club scene there was a little ridiculous. It was like oh, over the top. Everyone's like crawling on the bar. So and then there's someone, someone, some strangers putting a pill on their tongue. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how it was, guys. Two <laughs> thousands. It was all a blur, actually. <laughs> but um, same thing for this one, Brandon. Bad Boys Two, man. Anything that you remember or anything that stands out to you from when you saw it? More slow mo shots. Yeah, slow mo <laughs> shots slow-mo were definitely guns, up. Like, you know, <laughs> the explosions were a lot huger. <laughs> definitely saw the fireworks inside the explosions. <laughs> That's Michael Bay. <laughs> uh, that was really it. Like I just thought the movie was so cool, like with the action scenes, because they just they did a really good job. I mean, as uh, Michael Bay for the time there, you know, they really made the action scenes pop, and they had this really cool flair. But I mean, it was summer blockbuster, so yeah. they made it as fun as possible, and it was really cool. I hear you, man. How about you, Al? Any, anything from Bad Boys Two you remember, really? No, just a continue. It was just a continuation of the way they interact, right? Just, just more on a, on a deeper, higher level. Yeah, you know, just yeah. Yeah, I thought it was an interesting concept what, what they did in the movie because on this one, what they were kind of like hinting at was Martin Lawrence was going to quit being his partner, or yeah. he's going to quit being like tied to him because he felt like he kept putting his life in danger. Yeah. And in the end, they're like, "No, nah, we're still bad boys." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think he had actually put in the request, if I remember correctly. I think he submits it, and he then submit, can't, and then he takes it back. Yeah. yeah, yeah, man. Because <laughs> even the ending was so ridiculous. They went like they went to Cuba. Yeah. <laughs> and they went to go get uh, Sydney because he got kidnapped. But they went to Cuba with the uh, the DEA agents and some military that 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 were loaned to them. <laughs> But it was crazy, man. And the bad guy was over the top in the second oh, yeah. one. Yeah. You know, the the typical Latino drug dealer from Cuba. <laughs> Who lived with his mom. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Who supposedly knew nothing was happening. No, no, no. There's a scene where she comes out the balcony and she's like, what happened to, uh, like, Paolo? Yeah. So there was a guy, he goes, oh, mom, he shot himself and. You know, she's like, oh, OK, well, make sure you tell his mom. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my gosh, man. But there was a lot of fun scenes, a lot of cool scenes. Like I said, the whole thing with the chase with the Haitians and them. There's actually a cool shot that I, I was wondering how they even did. There's a shot where they were trying to find like the, after the Haitians got away. They went looking for them and they, they got like a tip to where they were going to where their house was. Right. So there's a scene where Will Smith is behind a wall, right? And the Haitians are on the other side of the wall. And that what the camera does is just circle pans around them. Mm-hmm. So it's like going through the camera's like going through the walls and circling around so you can see everything that the Haitians are doing. And then you see Will Smith, what he's doing. Oh, yeah. And it's just circling back and <clears throat> forth. And I thought that was a really cool like like camera shot that, you know, we really don't see camera shots that are really cool. Yeah. You know, anymore. It's pretty much you see what, what they're you know, the focus is yeah. in the but seeing like a cool new angle or something like that was pretty cool too. So hopefully we'll see something like that. Now is is Michael Bay doing Bad Boys for Life? Is he any part of it or I feel like yeah. Yeah, right. It, it should be. be. Right? Because I can't really think of anything else really, really like like I said, Bad Boys, especially with it. No, Bad Boy. Oh, he had nothing to do with it. Not. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh wow. All right, so I guess maybe not too much crazy with the explosions. But even yeah. though the commercials show like this crazy helicopter scene, <laughs> they're in a two car motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it seems like it's gonna be fun. It's like an older version of them. I'm sure they're about to retire. They got to. Well, he wants uh, yeah, to. They should Marcus be collecting wants to pension at this point. <laughs> Marcus Wait. wants to retire. Will Smith does it. <laughs> I mean, Mike Lowry. In the, in the commercial, there's a scene where <laughs> I think Martin Lawrence puts on glasses. He's like, it's like seeing an HD. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my one concern for like Bad Boys for Life is like, I just hope it's not corny, right? I hope yeah. their age aren't, isn't showing. I just, I hope they make 
what sets everything off makes sense uh, as much as it can in this kind of a movie. Um, only because it seems like it's Mike Lowry again calling, pulling um, Marcus into the middle. Because the preview shows him saying one more time, you know, I need yeah, your help. Yeah, this one this last one. Because I think they're going after Mike this time. Yeah. So, but again, so, but who and what? And and to Marcus's point, right. why am I around your ass? Everybody <laughs> keeps trying to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> like, why am I here? So, like, just make it worth it. Because at this point, how far into their careers, you know, and, and Mike Lowry's character is a trust fund kid, so. Yeah, that's oh, that, that's just, always mentioned too. So yeah. they gotta mention it again. It's not just a trust fund, baby. We're not doing this because it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, man! Uh, yeah, man. So I mean, look, it's coming out this Thursday. Uh, Bad Boys for Life, and I think like I think we're all gonna get a chance to try to go see it this weekend or yeah. this week coming up. So I mean, that's that's pretty much it with Bad Boys because, like I said, the, these movies there's not really something that 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 carries over. From movie to movie, besides their relationship, yes, yeah, it's, yeah. it's still about the experience. Yeah, well, the family, the family, because you remember, which is interesting because not that much time passes, but in the first one he had a little girl, mm-hmm. and then in two he had a girl that was out, old enough to go out on a date. Yeah, oh, they scared the <laughs> shit out of that kid that, that came to pick up the girl. <laughs> that is still the, one of the <laughs> oh funniest scenes in the movie for me. I don't, I can't recite it word for word, but I just, <laughs> it was hysterical. I just remember he says, "You a virgin." Better keep it that way. He goes, you and the guys? He's like, no, sir. You want to try? <laughs> and I was like, oh, my God. Wait, wait. wait. <laughs> they asked him, he's like, how old are you, man? He's like, about 15. He goes, you fucking look 30. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So I just like, look, I hope the, the humor stays and it. I'm not expecting anything fantastic, but man, I'm I'm hoping for it though. Yeah, you know, I'm, really I'm, I'm expecting to come out <laughs> la- with my stomach hurting from laughing. Yeah, man, absolutely. especially with them too. Yeah. Absolutely, man. And listen, man, we'll we'll end the podcast, make a little short one this week. Um, but again, oh, it's not short. Brent, how long we went? We have 58 minutes. <laughs> oh, so wow. hour long. All right, uh, we, <laughs> goddamn hell, hell, Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> Well, listen, guys, we appreciate you guys listening to these uh, Bad Boys for Life recap for all the bad boys there and then also the Marvel News and uh, Birds of Prey. I'm not <laughs> saying the rest of that thing. No, you don't, you don't want to say the other 28 words in the no, title? It's just annoying. <laughs> <laughs> but as always, guys, we thank you for always listening and uh, giving us your time there to listen to the podcast about movies and have fun with us as we talk about it. Uh, we'll be back next week with the with the review for Bad Boys for Life and any kind of major news that comes out. If you guys have any suggestions for us, any kind of questions, feel free to send them to our email, the realfanreview at gmail.com, or go to our website. You can contact us through there. We're on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And um, you know, that's pretty much it for tonight, man. Signing off today. We got my brother B. Adios, guys. We got my man in the chair, Al. Have a good night, everybody. And for myself, guys, have a good night, and we'll see you next week.